What's going on guys, it's your boy CMB. I got a quick update on the situation with actor Jonathan Majors. Now just to do a quick recap, uh, back on March 25th, Jonathan Majors was arrested for the alleged assault of his girlfriend at the time, Grace Jabari. Now since then, Jonathan Majors has been taking you know, a number of L's guys. Uh, he was dropped by his management company. Uh, he's losing work and his future with the Marvel Cinematic Universe seems to be in jeopardy at this point. Now, he recently attended court back on June 20th, so I wanna catch you guys up to speed on what's going on with his situation since then. And why I feel now that he may be getting railroaded here, or they may be attempting to railroad him uh, after hearing what I, you know, what I read here, uh, in Newsweek. So I want to read some of this article to you guys in Newsweek, catch you guys up to speed on this situation. Now it says, <clears throat> after his most recent appearance at court on June 20th, Majors went to the New York Police Department Chinatown precinct the next day to file a complaint against Jabari, saying that on March 25th, she had been drunk and hysterical and that she had attacked him on a street corner in Chinatown. He alleges that Jabari, a dancer, scratched and slapped his face, causing him pain. Majors lawyer Priya Chandri told Newsweek that Majors met with the New York Department, New York uh, Police Department last week to present them with evidence of what really happened on that night. Within hours of viewing the evidence and conducting their own thorough investigation, let me repeat that. Conducting their own thorough investigation the New York Police Department found probable cause to arrest Grace Jabari for assaulting Jonathan Majors, Chandri added. Chandri also claimed the actor's innocence and even thanked the New York Police Department when both precincts near Chelsea and Chinatown found probable cause to investigate Jabari. However, according to a Business Insider report, Manhattan prosecutors were reluctant to press charges against Jabari and the Chinatown police station issued her with an incident card calling for her to present to the precinct for questioning, but that was also canceled. So you guys can see here, listening to this, why I'm kind of skeptical about this whole situation. Uh, they found probable cause to arrest her, but they chose not to, but they, they arrested Jonathan Majors on the spot. So it, it seems like there's some funny business going on here, some shenanigans going on here. And I think the trial date is actually set for August the 3rd, but we're gonna have to let it play out and see what happens with this. And here's the thing, uh, guys like Jonathan Majors, uh, guys with a lot to lose, a lot of times, you know, they get the short end of the stick. You know, you, you have to look at these things uh, with a little bit of skepticism. You know, you're, you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, but it seems to me that, you know, in in the public eye, uh, Jonathan Majors was, you know, found guilty without any evidence of, of what's going on. Now he presents evidence that, you know, he's innocent and that she it assaulted him and nothing's happening to her. They decided not to arrest her. So you can see why uh, people who, who are pulling for Jonathan Majors are looking at this like, you know, different strokes for different folks type thing. So, but like I said, we're going to have to let it play out. Uh, trial date, like I said, August the 3rd. Uh, we'll see what happens, guys. I, like I said, I'm pulling for Jonathan Majors. You know, I, I'm a fan of his work. I think he's a great guy. You know, if he's guilty, uh, he's guilty. He deserves punishment. But it sounds like to me more and more that, you know, he's you know, he's innocent and that he's being railroaded. But uh, you guys let me know how you feel about this situation in the comment section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.